And this is the second time in just a few months that someone has successfully been able to reach for an officer's gun when it's in its holster. Back in May, Terrell Rhodes, the suspect in the Mari Nicholson case, was able to grab an officer's gun out of its holster while in an interrogation room. But over the weekend at this concert at Allegiant Stadium, officers were taking Lyndon Truong to a holding cell. That was after he pushed a security guard and then ran away. Now, as they got into the elevator, Truong continued to resist and while he was in handcuffs, was able to reach for an officer's gun. He pulled the trigger and hit the officer uh, that you see here on the bottom part of the screen in his leg. Now, as we take a closer look, several of the officers are trying to pin him up against the wall when his hand slides below and is able to reach the gun. Assistant Sheriff Laz Chavez said they're looking into if they need to make any changes with the equipment. Uh, I spent this morning looking at a number of different holsters and uh, I have the same concerns that probably all, everyone in this room has, and we're going to look at that and make some determinations of whether or not we need to discontinue the use of some of these holsters uh, and then certainly go into training. The officer who was shot in the leg did go to the hospital, but right now he is back at home and recovering. Another officer was injured when shrapnel hit him in the leg as well. The suspect right now is still at UMC where he's receiving a mental evaluation. This morning in court, his bail was set at $100,000. I'm Drew Andre, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.